Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about 10 really hot colognes that you can wear to the office. So going to work, you want to smell attractive, you want to definitely smell good, but you maybe don't want to have something that smells too much or that can be annoying for your colleagues, but you do want them to appreciate how you smell. So I have picked out 10 fragrances that I think are extremely good, both designer fragrances and niche fragrances, and these colognes are perfect. For the office. And the first one up is one that is woody, it's warm, it's spicy and it is powdery. And the one is the beautiful Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Bois. So this wonderful one opens up with some pepper, there is coriander and there is also some geranium in the top. And then you get to what I think is the best part of this, the iris, the cacao pod and the cedar. And in the base notes there is sandalwood and patchouli. So what I love about Gentleman Bois is the combination of the powdery notes together with the spices, the gourmandy cacao pod and something almost fruity to my nose. This is elegant, it's soft and masculine and that makes it a hot office fragrance for men. The next one, some Something sweet, warm, spicy and smoky and with that beautiful tobacco and the one is Herod from Parfums de Marly. This opens up with a wonderful note of cinnamon together with pepper. Then there is tobacco leaf, there is a beautiful note of incense that is not old churchy at all, it's just smoky, sweet and warm. There's osmanthus and there is labdanum. And in the base, vanilla, musk and the beautiful woody note of cedar. So Herod is the most polished and elegant tobacco fragrance you can find. That sweet and smoky tobacco together with the sweet and creamy vanilla just makes it outstanding and a perfect fragrance to smell both professional and attractive at the office. Bad Boy Cobalt Parfum Electric. And this one is woody, it's aromatic, it's earthy and it is fruity. And it opens up with pink pepper together with lavender. So something spicy and fresh in the opening. Then you come to the midst and there is one of my favorite notes and that is plum. And in the base some truffle, some vetiver, cedar and oak. This wonderful fragrance from Carolina Herrera is the perfect mix of something woody, something aromatic, something earthy and something fruity. So I have noticed that earthy notes and fruity notes goes so well together and this is one that has that mix of something fruity like the plum together with those earthy notes and I would say this is great for the office. It's strong but not too strong. It's attractive but also professional and not too much. Hey there, if you want to see more videos with me and if you want to help me get my channel to grow, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you can, please give a super thanks. Next up is a classic and the classic is YSL Lom. This is warm, spicy, it's fresh, it's aromatic and it is woody and it has the most wonderful opening of ginger, bergamot and lemon. So a soft spicy citrusy opening. Then there is some more spices, there's violet leaf, some white pepper and basil. And in the base, sweet tonka bean, cedar and vetiver. This is a classic and it is loved by many for a reason. I know I really love this one, but every time I put my nose to it, I'm surprised over how good it really smells. I think that the mix of those spicy notes, the aromatic side and the woody notes just makes it so masculine and at the same time inviting. One that deserves way more love is Gucci Guilty Cologne. This woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, a bit floral and powdery one is beautiful. It opens up with juniper berries, rosemary and violet. Then you have cypress and heliotrope in the midst together with white musk, cedar and patchouli in the base. And this one does not get enough love, but I love it and it's one of the most unique, fresh and powdery fragrances a man can wear. And what makes this unique is the mix of that fresh and green notes together with that beautiful floral mix and then this powdery veil all over it. Fabulous one for the office. It will make you smell clean, 
fresh and soft in a masculine and an attractive way. So something aromatic, green, fresh, spicy and musky is perfect for the office. And that's why Prada Luna Rosa is perfect for the office. It opens up with lavender and bitter orange. So something fresh and citrusy in the opening. Then a beautiful note of mint together with clary sage. And in the base, ambrette and ambroxan. And the sand cloud this one produced is just wonderful. And it's a sand cloud that is very pleasant to be around. The aromatic and musky notes goes so well together. And that makes this a scent that most people really enjoy. So the Dior fragrances are just amazing, all of them. But one you can't go wrong with going to the office is definitely Dior Homme. This is woody, it's musky, warm and aromatic. It opens up with bergamot, pink pepper and alumi. Then there is cashmere wood, some cedar and patchouli and in the base vetiver and white musk. Dior Homme is such an easy way to smell good. It's very masculine, it's a bit formal which can be a good thing at the office and it's just very clean. Burberry Hero EDT. This is woody, it's fresh, spicy, and a bit aromatic. It opens up with bergamot, juniper, and black pepper. Then there's this beautiful mix of cedar notes like Atlas cedar, Virginia cedar, and Himalayan cedar. And if you like the woody note of cedar, you will like Hero. Hero is really a unique cedar focused fragrance that is so simple but yet so beautiful. The fresh and the woody combination is what makes this just so good. And what is too bad is that it lacks a bit of performance. So you do have to overspray it a bit if anyone is going to notice it. But being in an office, that is not a bad thing since you might not want to smell too much in that kind of environment. Aqua di Gio Profondo is the aromatic, marine, fresh and spicy and woody one. And it opens up with sea notes, aqua zone, bergamot and green mandarin. Then you have this aromatic mix of rosemary, cypress, lavender and mystique. And in the base, mineral notes, musk, patchouli and amber. And I just love this kind of scent. It's the marine scent with the sea notes and the aromatic mix together that just makes it so good. This is the kind of scent that I think is familiar to most people in some way, but this is like one of the absolute best versions of that kind of marine and aromatic scent. The last one up is the brand new release from Armani and it's Armani Code Parfum. And wow, this one is good. It's powdery, it's aromatic, it's woody, it's fresh and it's sweet. And it has this fresh beautiful opening with bergamot leaf and bergamot. In the middle, powdery iris together with orris root and then some aromatics like clary sage and then some aldehydes for that fresh, newly washed feeling. And in the base, sweet tonka bean and cedar. And the tonka bean is that sweet, beautiful vanillic one that they do so well in Armani Code. The new Armani Code Parfum is a great one and I loved it straight away. And releases like this just makes me happy because they have taken something that is old, that is amazing and made it even better by adding something new. And to me, this one has some similarities with both the original code and code Profumo and I think it smells wonderful. That was 10 fragrances that will make you smell hot at the office. Tell me which fragrance you get good reactions from when you wear it to work. Like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.